Welcome back. We are here during our second rotation or second household of our rotation of the social season where everyone is trying to get married. So we are here with the Templeton household, the Grand Duchy, and Francis is basically going to tell his son Eli, look, I know you're not interested in marriage or anything much to my dismay, but I need you to do something for your sister. So he says to him, Eli, you need to court Selena. You need to go over her house. You need to get her out of her house, you know, take her on dates, keep her distracted because um, Madeline wants to get with the king, but the king is so smitten with Selena that you know, he's not really entertaining anyone else. We saw that last time that Phoebe got rejected by him. So Arthur is really just so into Selena, but um, he doesn't even see anyone else. But of course, they want Madeline to become the queen. So we are going to have Eli come here and start to, uh, you know, get to know Selena a little better. He does not have a good first impression of her. She does have a good first impression of him, though. I don't know why you're taking a bath when you have a guest, but... Anyway, so he's going to come over and talk to her and her mom. Of course, he already knows them kind of because uh, Francis and Margaret are are in a relationship, basically. They're together. So uh, because of that, they're probably going to be like step siblings soon anyway. But he is here and he's talking to Selena and they actually have really good compatibility. They have like amazing compatibility or something. It's either good or amazing. Um, and so they're getting along really well and they're just being friendly and they're gossiping and they're chatting. And she is also telling him about, you know, her life and her dreams. They are going to be best friends apparently. So that is just kind of what's going on there. The more he hears about her, the more he's like, actually, wait a second, because um, Eli's complaint about finding a wife is that he wants to be independent. He wants to go on his adventures. He wants to, uh, you know, not have someone at home nagging for him to pay them more attention, blah, blah, blah. So it's difficult for him because he doesn't want that married stereotypical life that is happening during this time period. So uh, when he hears that Selena has her own dreams and aspirations, she wants to be an actress. She wants to, you know, become famous and get out there and blah, blah, blah. And he actually really admires that about her because it's very similar to how he feels about the whole thing. So maybe it's not such a bad match after all. Uh, he went to go update his father on how it went, but then uh, the Dowager Queen is here, actually, Horatia. So uh, she's here. So Eli is going to go talk to his sister instead, and uh, we'll have Francis talking with Horatia. She probably heard that... Um, she probably heard that he is courting Margaret for his second marriage, and, you know, these two were in a romantic entanglement at one point um, and she is kind of disappointed that he has moved on even though she's she told him like we have to just be friends I need to focus on my son but that doesn't mean that like kind of a part of her is a little hurt that he moved on um, and so it said there that she asked him to if like they can move in together so I think probably what she's trying to say to him is like just because I have to be the queen and everything doesn't mean that it can't still work out and he was like it really can't because I'm the Grand Duke I have to manage my household you are definitely not going to leave the castle so um, it's just really not going to work out I'm with Margaret now anyway so He's talking to his kids now and basically giving them a pep talk, a rundown. Eli, you need to, you know, keep on Selena, keep her away from the king. Madeline, this is your chance. Take the opening, go and try and seduce the king. So that is what's going on with his children. He is just telling them, you know, you both have to make this work. And uh, he actually wouldn't mind <laughs> if Eli married Selena anyway, because Selena is, um, you know, her family is, is pretty wealthy and even though they're not nobility, it is still, you know, pretty good chance for her to inherit a lot of her father's fortune, despite the fact that her mother might remarry. So um, he is definitely interested in that.
Let's host our first social event of the week. Now, as you know, there needs to be four social events in the week. That's the rules. So we are having our, our first kind of big event, which is a ball here, and it is very nice. So we're inviting over all of the upper class. And um, I feel so bad for Phoebe <laughs> because, like, nobody is interested in her right now. Poor Phoebe. Um, anyway, so we are going to have Madeleine start to make her move on the king and ask him to dance with her. Of course, that doesn't like mean anything romantic, but it's a good starting point to get his attention, to get him to uh, you know, spend some time with her. I don't know why she decided to dance with his mom instead, but we're going to try and fix that. And then Eli is asking Selena for a dance. Unfortunately, they somehow decided to dance outside. Um, but yes, look at these two dancing. Madeline is definitely turning on the charm. Um, she is talking to Seth a little bit too, just because... Um, you know, he's the only other option. <laughs> There's only six, um, you know, single people and one, two of them are women and one of them's her brother. So she's, she's really only got Seth or Arthur to choose from. And Eli hasn't even really looked at Phoebe. Um, I think they, they did talk during the ball in the last one and honestly like he knows that Phoebe is looking to be a traditional wife she is very interested in uh you know romance she's a romantic all of that stuff so she is not really the kind of person that he wants to marry um she would be the perfect wife for someone else but Eli just because he wants to be away all the time and stuff he would feel bad if he was like neglectful and she was just sitting at home waiting for him so they're not going to do that and so we are headed um to the theater now we're just going to take the afternoon to go on a little date with Margaret herself so uh Francis and Margaret are just, you know, continuing to court with each other and really um, very close, actually. They, he kind of admired her uh, as, you know, a famous opera singer and uh, they are just kind of getting a little bit closer and we'll see if maybe uh, they decide to take the next step. Where are you going? In the bathroom. Okay, well, they're hiding in the bathroom to embrace each other. Oh, <laughs> you know, that's not allowed. Um, Honestly, it's probably more of a big deal with, like, a young girl because, you know, they're supposed to be, I don't know how to say this without sounding gross, but um, <laughs> anyway, Margaret has already been married before, so it's not like her um, virtue is in question. <laughs> so we are going to have Duke France, Grand Duke Francis get down on one knee and ask Margaret to marry him. Will you marry me and bring all your money to my household and <laughs> all of that stuff? So uh, they are now officially engaged, Francis and Margaret. Uh, if you know, he also still has a little romantic thing with um, Roger. So We'll see if he decides to cancel that or not. Uh, ask them just to be friends. We'll see. But anyway, he is going to come home and he's going to tell his children that he's engaged to Margaret. They'll probably be having the wedding soon. So that um, it's just going to be a small wedding. I want, of course, the first big wedding to be the royal wedding. We'll just do kind of small wedding elopements until then. If you, in season two of Bridgerton, one of the Featherington sisters, um, like that wedding where they were just at home just having a nice little ceremony. So that's what I'm thinking for uh, any weddings that happen before the royal wedding. But we'll try and have that first on the next go around. So we are going to have Eli continue to do his archaeology stuff. And Madeline is going to tell her father that things are going really well uh, with the king. She thinks that he is open to you know, being with her. And so she's excited about that. She really wants it to work out and she wants to be the queen. She wants to be at the top of the social ladder. So that is what's going on with her. And uh, we are just continuing with the archaeology stuff just because it's like the middle of the night. So I didn't really want to, uh, you know, we can't really do anything in the middle of the night. So um but we are going to start getting in the mail some archaeology stuff. It's actually really nice because um, we have Eli, who is now kind of 
well known for his scholarly abilities and so now they're starting to send him things to authenticate and paying him for it so it's actually a really nice side gig for him when you get high up in the archaeology um, skill they start sending you things so Anyway, uh, we are going to have Madeline and King Arthur go out to a restaurant for a little date, and we will uh, see how that goes with them. So they're here. We're just going to grab a table out here in the garden area, even though everything is kind of brown because it's a fall, but that's okay. So she is just going to get the table for them. Everyone is starting to come in, but... She's getting the table and we're going to request a table and then order some food for the both of them. It doesn't really matter what it is. And so she's going to start flirting with him right now. They just have a really good friendship relationship and they also have amazing compatibility. Despite the fact that he wasn't super interested in her um, in their first impression, they are really compatible. So she's going to start flirting with him a bit and he is kind of receptive, but he even says to her, like, look, I'm really interested in Selena. I, I think I'm going to propose to her, blah, blah, blah. And, and Madeline is going to say, well, you know, uh, Selena has been courting with my brother, Eli, and she's just going to say, you know, she's keeping her options open. So you should keep your options open too. And kind of, uh, you know, slide that tidbit of information in there. And he's uh, a little disappointed to hear that Selena is still entertaining, um, you know, attention from other men. Um, but he is just going to be polite and uh, stay at the date. And uh, looks like the queen is around. But um, yes, so Madeline and Arthur are just going to kind of be a little flirty, a little romantic. Maybe Arthur is thinking, you know, did I put all my eggs in one basket? Am I going to regret rejecting Phoebe? Like what, you know, I think that he is starting to worry a little bit that perhaps, you know, this love at first sight has kind of gone to his head. So there is that. So they are just going to agree to court with each other. So that's what's going to happen now is that they, they're making this agreement. They're going to um, just kind of be courting for now, even though there are no promises on either side. So uh, poor Arthur is really, so in, honestly, I fell into this trap. <laughs> Last video, I was like, oh my gosh, it's going so well. Let's just do it. And, um, you know, now that I thought about it a little more, I'm like, come on, you can't just like jump both feet in right now. Go for it. First, like <laughs> first part of the, the marriage market. So um, I do want to keep some of their options open. And we have, again, Eli just doing his thing. And we have Madeline and her father are very close, probably because they're both kind of manipulative in that way. Um, she is basically telling him that it's going super well and she's totally going to steal the king from Selena and all of that. So she is really excited about that. I don't know why you're being mean to each other all of a sudden. Okay, so he is just going to continue to authenticate his artifacts and all that stuff. And um, we're just going to keep going with this family. I am really excited about the story that we're spinning here. It's just a lot of fun. Um, I'm really excited about it. So I hope that uh, you are too, because it's going to be great. And I, um, I did take a little break from playing this. So it's been a little bit since the last video and this video, but I forgot how much fun I was having. This is great. This is such a fun challenge. And um, I also, like, I'm loving the whole marriage season, but also I'm, like, I'm really excited to get back to the drama in some of these families, too. So we'll kind of see where that is going. But anyway, I'm just trying to get through the night here. I'm having a lot of fun with my Sims. And we are going to start the next day. It's already Thursday. I mean, it's the fourth day of the week already. So there's that. And we are just getting an element from here. But that's the last thing I think he has in his inventory. We'll have to go away again um, during the next rotation. Well, we might not be able to go away again during the next rotation because we'll probably be having a wedding. But that's besides the point. 
So we are just here with him and it is uh, already starting to become the afternoon. So we will start our next event soon. I forget what I was doing during this, to be completely honest with you. Um, okay, so plan a social event. Let's start and we will actually um, have a small garden party and we'll go to the bluffs to do that where I put this like maze garden. So we're going to do that and just put all of these people in it. Let's go, let's go. Everybody's a coming and we will go here. So that'll be nice. It's actually kind of difficult as we play through this because now there are a few different people who are romantic with a few other people. So I I think that it's it's kind of a problem because we are going to have some small issues where people will flirt with each other in front of each other and then they'll get mad at each other. And <laughs> I don't know. Um, We'll just have to see where it goes. I mean, it's just something you have to accept about the time period. Like, they are all courting each other. You can't get jealous about somebody else courting. But uh, Francis can get jealous about his betrothed flirting with who? I don't know. Margaret. Margaret just loves the attention. Francis is probably like, Margaret, if you're going to be the Grand Duchess, you have to act like it. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, um, you know, Margaret's used to being the, the butterfly. So it's tough. Anyway, he's not happy about that behavior. Um, oh, it looks like... Selena, are you mad at King Arthur right now? Ooh. Maybe... Um, so Selena saw Arthur talking with Madeline, and maybe she got jealous. Like, hello, you're my first choice, and you're talking to her? So she is not happy about that. So uh, we're headed back home. And we are going to just come over here. He is mad. He's mad. <laughs> so uh, he is mad that Margaret is not acting in an appropriate way for a grand duchess. And so he's actually going to call Roger over for a little woohooty call. So uh, here he comes. And um we are just going to, you know, invite him in and just invite him straight to the back. <laughs> uh, they are, you know, they just have like a, a friends with benefits relationship. They're not really, um, you know, the, during the time period, they know that it's not going to happen. So um, it's just something that they are both enjoying of each other. So they are just having that. He is so mad. <laughs> But um, we have Madeline, who is going to write a romantic letter to King Arthur, even though uh, she's just for some reason going to come into her father's room to do so. That's not weird at all. Why'd you leave that on the floor? Come on. Um, and then we're just we're continuing to upgrade their estate as well. So there's that. And uh, we have the evening kind of coming to an end. And we'll have all of the men go out to the bar together. That would be a nice little outing for them. And maybe Eli and Arthur can have a little talk. So we are going to come over here and order drinks for the group. So he, can you put your clothes on? Thank you. Um, okay, so he is going to uh, have a little talk with Arthur and be like, look, um, you know, I'm interested in Selena. I'm going to court her, you know, no hard feelings, buddy, because of course he's the grand Duke he, or he's going to be the grand Duke when his father passes and Arthur is the King. So they have to be, you know, having a good relationship. So here we are and we are going to just have them kind of be like, you know, bros a little bit. <laughs> so they are just going to kind of clear the air with each other. And Arthur's like, no, I understand how it works. Like, you know, I think that perhaps I just, you know, have fallen in love very quickly and I, I need to clear my head a bit. So that's a conversation that these people are having the guys are having with each other you can see the ladies from the brothel kind of coming around <laughs> uh we'll see about that but uh okay so that's our butler but anyway um looks like eli likes romance enthusiasts that's fine so there's that also arthur is a reformed rake so i think that it's hard for him because he has been a rake and he's been with so many people and been um 
you know, carefree in that way and never really worrying about falling in love. And then all of a sudden he is just like falling so hard with Selena. And I think that it, he's not used to it. And that's why he is kind of, you know, having all these new feelings and then having, you know, maybe feeling territorial or feeling, you know, jealous. And he doesn't really understand why that's happening to him. So anyway, we are getting a new artifact in the mail and we are inviting Margaret over. So Francis is going to be like, Margaret, look, I want you to be my wife. I want you to be the grand duchess. And I want it now. I want you to move in. I want you to bring your daughter. I want to be a family. I want, um, you know, he, he wants all these things, um, you know, like her money, but, <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's just like kind of telling her that he's ready to make a commitment with her. And honestly, I'm not very bright because it didn't occur to me that if I had them get married right now, it means that we won't have a week with the Beauchamps because there won't be Beauchamps anymore. And so uh, we are going to have to spin out a very quick amount of stuff with Selena for the last couple of days of this rotation. But anyway, we're going to have them get a eloped small wedding with just the kids. Eli, of course, has just ran off to who knows where. But uh, these two are just going to have a little ceremony together and we are now step siblings so there's that and Madeline is actually kind of mean to Selena she's like you think you're so great you think that King Arthur's gonna marry you he's not you're not of noble blood you're nothing like blah 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 so uh, Madeline is mean and um we are just having them argue with each other and uh, you know Selena's like well he loves me and he doesn't even care about you and blah 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 and they're just you know going back and forth while Selena and Francis or not Selena and Francis uh Margaret and Francis are having their first woohoo in the background there yeah these girls hate each other but actually you're wearing very similar colors so there is that so uh, anyway, Eli's up here and Selena is like, look, you know, we're, we're family now and um, they're just gonna, you know, be cute. And then um, they're not romantic at all yet, but Eli kind of wants to make a move on her. So he is going to really uh, start flirting with her and be like, look, you know, you're you know, I really think that you would make an excellent wife, Selena. I am really interested in you and I hope me a chance. And Selena is like, look, I think you're great too. I really do like you. And I think that you're a great person with a great status and a lot of money. <laughs> she just tells him, but you know, obviously the king is my first choice. He's the king. And, you know, she always dreamed of being, you know, so much more she wants to be a five-star celebrity she wants to be at the top she wants everyone to know her so um she's like i'm sorry eli but it's arthur he's the one so she is actually going to um i messed that up but we're gonna have her go to um, the cafe with arthur so they're going to go there right now and we are just going to have these two actually see each other and then we'll uh, be talking about their future together. So she has come to to Arthur and, you know, she basically tells him and he basically tells her that, look, you're my first choice. You're the one I want. This is like on Love is Blind where they tell each other <laughs> that, that you're my first choice. And so uh, obviously the queen is chaperoning. So um, basically Selena is like, you know, I really want to marry your son. I, I love him a lot. And I think that, you know, we're meant to be. And of course we know that Horatia is a little apprehensive about Selena because she is, you know, not convinced that Selena would make a good queen. And so she basically is talking and they're talking while they're together here. And she says, oh, well, yes, you know, the duties of a queen are many and, uh, they're chatting. And so, um, she tells Selena, like, you know, I, I hope that you understand that there are certain things that you can't do if you're the queen. And so Selena doesn't really understand because she thinks the queen can do whatever she wants. And Horatia is just kind of like, no, um, you can't. And so Selena's like, well, I want to be an, an, a famous actress. And Horatia is like, you can't do that if you're the queen. That's against the rules. And um, I know we're leaving, but 
basically, uh, Arthur didn't really stick up for Selena in that moment. He was just kind of like, yeah, well, you can't really. Um, so uh, Selena has come home and she is bummed. She's really bummed because now she's thinking that she's going to have to choose between, you know, the potential love of her life and her dream of becoming a, you know, super actress. So there's that. She is not feeling happy about this situation. She really thought that she had it in the bag and now all of a sudden she's unsure but we're going to have uh, Francis and Margaret are over here and they're chatting. And, you know, Francis is like, you know, my son is kind of smitten with your daughter, <laughs> uh, trying to give a little hint there. But of course, Margaret is like, well, you know, Selena's going to be the queen. And so Selena comes home and uh, is going to talk to her mother. She comes home like very upset, like almost in tears because she doesn't know what to do. And so she's going to come talk to her mother and basically say, I don't know what to do. He wants me to give up my dream to marry him. And I don't know if I can. And it doesn't sound like he's going to, we're going to make it work. And so Margaret is just like, you know, that's the way it is. She quit the entertainer career when she became the grand duchess just now. So she, um, you know, at the behest of her husband. So Selena is, is basically being told tough luck like that's what you do when you get married to a nobleman you gave, give up on those plebeian pursuits and selena is like no i don't want to like i don't know what to do and margaret is basically like look you have a chance to be the queen i don't want to hear any complaints you're gonna do it and you're gonna like it and i don't care you know so that is what's going on there margaret is very unsupportive of her daughter's dreams and i think part of it is because margaret is also you know aware that she gave up on her own dreams to get married twice now so uh, she did that twice, and so she doesn't, it's like one of those things where she's like, I had to do that, so you have to do it. You, you know, she doesn't want her daughter to be able to pursue her dream when she herself couldn't. So that is what happened there. She is very much um, scolding her daughter. Their, their relationship has never been particularly good, mostly because Margaret is mean. But uh, so they're just not really getting along particularly well in this scenario. So there is that. But uh, we're going to just keep on moving on from that. Yeah, they're not doing particularly well. She's going to come upstairs and try to calm herself down and... Um, then we're going to just have, you know, Eli come and check on her and be like, are you okay? Um, and she tells him what's up. She says, you know, I don't want to give up on my dream of being, where did the railings go on those stairs? <laughs> uh, but she tells him, I don't want to give up on my dreams, blah, blah, blah. And Eli is like, I understand because I don't want to give up on my dreams of being an archaeologist either. And he's telling her about his dreams and they're just like so alike. And he's like, look, if you were my wife, I would not make you give up on your dreams. And so they share a kiss and he's like, well, this is it. Uh, so he proposes to her and says, Selena, marry me. I will facilitate you becoming the m actress that you want to be. And I'll do anything to support your dreams. You're going to be number one. We're going to support each other's dreams. And so, ooh, they autonomously went to go woohoo, but it looks like it didn't really, it glitched. Uh, that's gross anyway, that leave pile. But Yes, so basically Eli has gotten the girl by supporting her pursuits and her dreams. And he tells his father, you know, Selena and I are going to get married. And his father is so happy because it means the spot is open for Madeline to become queen. So his father is like, great job, son. You did it. <laughs> We're definitely getting all this family's money now. So um, that's what's going on there. And then the whole family is going to gather for dinner. And so they're getting together and, um, you know, they're going to announce their engagement to the rest of the family. Madeline is obviously happy. Margaret is not happy, but she can't really say that she's not happy because that's her new stepson and her husband is right there. So she can't exactly be like, your son isn't good enough for my daughter right in front of him. So that's not going to happen. But um, yes, Margaret is not happy, but she can't really complain about it because of the, you know, that she married into this family. And uh, Madeline is like, thanks, bro. <laughs> and he's like, I didn't do it for you. <laughs> but uh, yes, so anyway, they are going to, uh, their relationship has taken quite a hit. <laughs> but um, we're going to have the last ball of the season right now. So we're going to do that. And we're going to have it actually at the Royal Palace. And we are going to have it kind of as a sort of... Um, it's, it's hard when you're doing rotationally, but it's all supposed to be kind of happening at the same time. But anyway, another ball. 
So um, we have to have Selena now come and tell Arthur, look, it's not going to work out. I've accepted Eli's proposal, and uh, that's how it's going to be. So we're going to come over here. Everyone's going to come in here and have the, the ball, and we are going to um, have everyone dance, and we're going to, again, like I said, we're going to have Selena say to Arthur, look, I have to choose my dream over my love for you. And she tells him that and she's like, I love you, but, but I want to follow my passions, follow my dreams. I don't want to be this person that, that I'm expected to be if I become your wife. And so I've accepted Eli's proposal. Let's just be friends. I'm sorry that it didn't work out. And so that's what happened there. They're going to ask to just be friends. And that is where we're going to wrap up this part with uh, Eli and Selena as the very first engaged couple of the marriage market. So marriage season, whatever. And Madeline is starting to get in the good graces of the king. But next time is the doubting family. So we'll see if Phoebe now has a chance with Arthur again. Because they got along really well for a while. But will she want to be the second choice? Who knows? We will find out in the next one.